let's now move on to some of the most important new keyboard shortcuts that were added to the Microsoft Office Suite. And I call this following the yellow or the ribbon brick road. All right. So the way this is going to work is you're going to start to use your keystrokes to find commands and features that you want to access up in your PowerPoint ribbon. And this is now moving um, from some of the harder keyboard shortcuts to learn with your hold shortcuts. We had some power hybrid shortcuts and we're now moving up into, all right, this top portion, which is the latest and best PowerPoint shortcuts that work in Microsoft Word, Outlook, Excel, etc. So these are some of the best keyboard shortcuts that barely anyone's using. And they are the best because it allows you to get at absolutely anything that's in your ribbon. So any command or feature that's in your ribbon, you can even get at commands and features that don't exist in your ribbon. And I'll show you how to do that a little bit later, but you can absolutely get at absolutely anything up there in your ribbon. And as a personal challenge, sometimes people do this training and they don't really think about this. Just start by thinking of two commands or two features that you use every single day you work in any of these programs. Maybe you're only using um, Word and PowerPoint or Excel and PowerPoint. All right, just think of two commands that you use every single day and see if you can apply what I'm about to show you to what you're doing because it's going to radically speed you up. Now, just as a quick heads up, this is if you hit and let go of the Alt key on your keyboard in, in any of the Microsoft Office suites, if you're on a PC, you're going to see this sequence of numbers across the top. These are called your ribbon guides. These are the bottom ones are called your QAT guides. And we'll talk about those in a minute. For now, these are 10 year old features that hardly anybody is using. So Microsoft added this to the productivity suite um, in 2006. It's added some of the best productivity features to the program. Microsoft did a horrible job telling people about them and hardly anyone's using them. And the people that are using them aren't strategically using them. So I'm going to give you some, um, tips and tricks to really squeeze the most out of them. And it's going to radically change your productivity. So these are our ribbon guides. If I just extend, expand out, you can see the ribbon guides here on my slide. I'll show this to you in a second. You can see the ribbon guides up here. So they match themselves. Um, just so you can see exactly where those will pop up in PowerPoint. Now there's a couple of things to keep in mind about these ribbon guides. So as you start to work through these, there are shortcuts within shortcuts. And by that, I mean, you can ribbon guide your way up, follow the ribbon brick road to, for example, the alignment tool, which will then give you a brand new sequence of keyboard shortcuts to work with. So as you move through this, the good news is every command and feature, every drop down, everything you can get into using your ribbon guides is going to give you a new keyboard shortcut. But I don't want you to get overwhelmed. I'll give you some tips for how to use this, but I just want you to know that the good news is you can get it absolutely every, anything and everything. So common characteristics of your ribbon guide shortcuts. You do not need to hold them down. You use the alt key to activate. You hit and let go of the alt key. You then follow the letters forward. This will make sense in a second. You hit escape to walk back a second level and you can hit alt a second time at any point to close out of your ribbon guides. And I'm going to give you some examples of this right now. So here in PowerPoint, as an investment banker or a consultant, you're constantly going to be adding bullet points. So normally when you add a bullet point, you would select the text, you'd go to the home tab, you would come find the bullet drop down, correct? And you would add your bullet point. Well, if this was something and you can just think of this as something that you're doing every single day, home tab, bullet drop down, bullet, you're coming to the next one, home tab, bullet, bullet, bullet drop down, all right, bullet, bullet drop down or check mark, whatever. This would be something that you could start to use your ribbon guides to quickly get out. So I would just quickly select my text. I hit and let go of the alt key. You can see all the ribbon guides um, fill up across the top of my screen. I know it's on my home tab, so I hit the H key. Notice that absolutely everything on the home tab now has a, a, a number or a letter with it. I hit U for the bullets. I use my arrow key, I hit enter, and there's my bullets. I then want to add a different style of bullets. The next one, alt, hit and let go of the alt key, hit the H key, I'll do this a little bit faster, hit U. There's some more normal bullets. Maybe I want some check marks. Alt H U and there's my check marks. I'm just using my arrow keys here to walk around through the dialog box. So that is a super fast way. If I want to remove the bullets, Alt H U, I can use my arrow keys to hit none. I can Alt H U, Alt H U. If you want to use kind of a combination of your key keyboard um, and your mouse, if you want to add numbers, Alt H right next to U, you can see N right here with my mouse. If I hit N, I'm going to then get all of the, the number options. ABC, etc. You can set, you know, use the bullet numbering dialog box to create your own.
But for more or less, you can just Alt H N very quickly flip someone's text or content from bullets to numbers using this ribbon guide shortcut. So Alt H U for bullets, Alt H N for numbers. Now, one quick question people have as they start to use this is what about all of these doubled up ribbon guides? So notice there's a PG, there's an SS, there's an SE. You know, how do these work? All you need to do to make these work, for example, FF is you hit and let go of the Alt key. All right, we would hit H for home. You would hit F once, which will then wipe out everything else. You would then hit F a second time. And let me just quickly demonstrate that. So if I hit and let go of the Alt key, let's actually grab something that we can add text to. I'll jump in, I'll type some text. So let's just say, say I'm gonna change my text. Hit and let go of the Alt key, I hit H on my, on my keyboard. Notice I get all these letters, I've hit F once. You're gonna see that everything that doesn't have an F associated with it disappears. So there's FP for clipboard, FF for font style, FS for font size, FG to increase, FK to, so all right, you get the point. I hit F, I hit Arial, I'll type Arial, I'll hit Enter, and I can quickly change my, um, my font style. So that's how to deal with doubled up ribbon guides. Um, another really great one since we were talking about jumping forth back and forth between the slide master, here's another example where you can use different styles of shortcuts to accomplish the same task. So before we talked about the power hybrid shortcut holding shift and jumping to the child slide, holding shift, jumping to the parent slide, you can also use your ribbon guides to jump back and forth between your views. So Alt WM is the slide master, Alt WL is the normal view. So if I hit and let go of the Alt key, if I wanna to jump to my slide master, I'll do this slowly again. I hit W to jump to the view tab. Here you can see all the different views that you can jump to in PowerPoint. If I wanna to go to my slide master, I hit M. I'm gonna to jump to my parent slide. If I do it a second time, so Alt, W, M, I'm also gonna to jump to my parent slide. If I hit Alt, W for view, this time L, if you just look over here on the far left is L for normal view, I will jump back to the normal view. And if you, as you get used to doing this, all right, day in and day out, it's gonna be Alt W M, there's a slide master, Alt W L, maybe you wanna go to your um, slides for reviews, Alt W I, Alt W, you can see I, you can see outline views, notes, panes, all right, these other stuff, outline view, control shift tab already has a keyboard shortcut associated with it, but Alt W L, Alt W M, are two keyboard shortcuts I use all the time and your ribbon guide, and they work really well for your ribbon guides. Now the next set, I wanna quickly go through this one, are some font style shortcuts. So if you're quickly changing the fonts, just like I was talking about a second ago, Alt H F F is a great way to you know, change the style of fonts. And instead of hitting enter here, you can just hit tab to jump to the font size like that. So Alt H F F, I'm just gonna let you, let me just, Controls you don't do that because it kind of looks funky now. But here's another set. So Alt H F F font style, font size, and paragraph spacing are some other ones. If you want to screenshot these, I use all the time when working in PowerPoint. One last one I really encourage you to look at is the Alt H L. This is how if you have a bunch of if you have a PowerPoint template that's properly built and people are actually using the content space holders like they're supposed to. If you Alt H L, you can very quickly take that content and force it, Alt H L, or change the layout of the different slides. So Alt H L is going to open up your layout dropdown, which is how you can quickly jump between different layouts here in PowerPoint, all right? So that's just another quick one that I use all the time, Alt H L, but it does require that your PowerPoint template is properly built.